Hey guys, this is Tolhe and welcome to Let's Play Oblivion Part 46. Um, so, uh, a lot of you guys commented with a lot of different opinions on the last one. Um, and there's two gen general things that people said. Uh, I, from this location, I gotta head outside, although I need to wait until it's, it's nighttime. So some people said go to the Arcane University to get rid of the vampire disease, and some people said go to the chapel. Um, just wait a while until it's nighttime and then I'll travel. Uh, some people also said that, uh, they warned me and they did warn me and I did see that I had a f damage fatigue buff, um, in here. There was a damage to fatigue or something sort of effect, but I didn't realize that that was the vampires thing because I just thought that was a some other disease I thought the disease would say vampire on it so I didn't really make the two connections that even though people were specifically saying the damage fatigue is the is the vampire somehow I didn't really clue in um, I guess I wasn't really reading that well um, so yeah I, I didn't clue in that I had it and so I just sort of left it be and left it be and then sort of just popped up and it sort of surprised me and so yeah I and I and I'm not, I was so busy trying to get all these errands done that I didn't even bother worrying about it increasing in difficulty, or not difficulty, but increasing in, I guess, lev level, because it was starting at 25, now it's 75, and people said that's because I'm not feeding, I'm not going to feed, I'm, I'm not going to feed, I'm going to find a way to get through this without having to feed, I also had some people say that I should reload my save and just not, not then Joe go to an altar because apparently if you have the disease and it hasn't turned into the vampire vampirism yet you can just get it cured blessings um cure for vampirism cure? you mean besides death well, such a yeah. thing is beyond our control the body is so warped by vampirism few would be able to revert its effects even fewer would care to try the guild of mages might know more speak with Romanus polis he may be able to guide you. Okay. At least I have the Take quest care. now. Um, so, yeah. That would be at the... Ar oh. Uh, let's make that active. So let me guess it's going to be at the Arcane... Uni yeah, so that's why people were saying go there. Because that's, that's where this, this would have led me anyways. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm not going to just revert my save and just continue. Because I, I sort of got myself into this... Let's get through it. Now, apparently, it's a giant fetch quest, so I may just skip the entire fetch quest. Um, I'll probably record it, but I may just not. I may edit it out, because if it's just a giant, boring thing, then I'm not really that keen to... Was I not supposed to go in here? Gotta go around. No matter how hard you try, the gate will not move. Wait a second... Wait, where am I? Here, door. Can I go at one of these doors? Needs a key. Needs a key. Needs a key. I'll pay handsomely if you can procure the items in that list. Find me everything on there, and you'll be well compensated. What are you talking about? What list? You too. Okay, so I do not have access to the Arcane University. Um, oh, it might be because it's nighttime. Maybe if I wait until day, he might show up in the center room. Let's give that a try. Okay, in your dream... Shoot! In your dream, vampire approach to ancients, you are completely... Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I've read that one before. This guy. Have you? Welcome. Uh, Cure. I'm pleased that you would ask. There is a way, though it's not known to me. Countess Sildor of Skingrad has done the most recent research on a cure, I believe. He's what you might call a vested interest in the subject. I suggest you travel there and seek an audience with him. And given your condition, I believe he may assist you. <sighs> okay. I have to go somewhere else. Now, did I wait till... Yeah, I waited until it's midday, so now if I walk out here, I'm going to burn really oh. fast. Okay. So now I have to wait some more and possibly increase the disease even further. Whatever, we're going to get through this. I'm not going to feed. I'm going to find a way to get through this without having to. Um, 
so I'm at what level of crazy now? A hundred? Yeah, one hundred. Is that gonna keep going up? I wonder. Only time will tell. Okay, let's head over here and find out what I have to do now. If this is giant fetch quest, that probably means I'm gonna have to do a lot more waiting. The worst part is I have to wait until certain times of the day, which then makes this disease even worse. Um, I guess I gotta go in here and. Where am I headed? Up this way. Have you been well recently? Your skin looks a bit off. In here. Save. And open. As long as no one saw me, that shouldn't be a crime. I shouldn't lose my crusaders. And where, oh where, is the person I'm looking for? Not this way. Oh. For the love of Azura, can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! Um, sorry? Greetings. Do you... I must see the Count. I'm afraid the Count does not see anyone without an approved appointment. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, it's about the cure. I see. Please, wait here one moment. I shall speak with the Count. Uh, okay. Farewell, your grace. Well, that's the Count. The guy telling me to get I out. I understand you're looking for a cure for vampirism. Yes. This is fortunate, as I also seek the cure. Uh, why would you want the cure? I wish to tell you a story, so that you might understand why. I would trust you with my secrets. Would you hear it? <sighs> no. Oh, I don't have a choice. More than 50 years ago, my wife Rona and I were both turned into vampires. While I came to embrace the changes in myself, she did not. She hated what she had become and refused to feed to keep herself healthy. Sounds familiar. She slipped into a coma from which she is not woken. My trusted servants have cared for her all this time, but I wish for her to at last find peace. The cure is for her. I have researched what I can, but acquiring the cure is beyond my grasp. I cannot risk drawing too much attention to myself. So I would ask that you take up the search on my behalf. If you are successful, I will reward you in whatever small way I can. Will you aid me? Of course. What little I have discovered points to the witches of Glen Morrow. In the past, they have been capable of creating a cure. I have searched for these witches throughout Cyrodiil, but no coven still exists within its borders. There may be one left. I have unconfirmed reports of a woman seen near the Corbolo River who fits the description of these witches. Seek her out and learn whether she can help. She lives somewhere along the river, east of the Imperial City and south of Chaven Hall. Lovely, so I have to if go out in the day. If you in finding a cure, well, report to my steward. I have to go out. You have my thanks. Okay, and let the journey begin. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to travel out and risk getting caught in the day. Oh, right there. Okay. So let's travel to the stables and hope it's not daylight by the time I get there, which it probably will be, and then I'll have to wait. Yeah. Um, can I cure my way... Yeah, this is happening way too fast. Okay, I'm going to have to... I can't get in there. Okay, um... Run for shelter, run for shelter, run for shelter, run for shelter. There's got to be somewhere here I can stay for a moment. Um, this inn. Inn should be always open. Yes, okay. Now I have to wait for a while. Now this is probably going to cause me to get even worse. So let's wait until nightfall and then head down there to that location. Uh... Probably around 8 o'clock should be fine, I think. There. Oh, no further disease. Excellent. 
Okay, and then heading back out to my horse, and let's try and get down there before daylight comes. Uh, it's just so annoying. I just having this whole I mean like yes if you feed and you keep that number down then you don't have to worry about sunlight and stuff and you also get cool abilities like getting to 100 I think I probably unlock new spells like uh, embrace the shadows makes me invisible and I have night eye that like that that's kind of cool but I don't really like having to wait every every now and again and will I eventually die if I don't feed is that a thing is it gonna be bad I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I think I'm getting close. Yeah, this must be it here, this hut. Um, let us see. Is this where the giant fetch quest will begin? The door is locked. Too bad. Tired of playing Mr. Nice Guy. What brings you to this neck of the woods, sir? Uh, curate. Oh my. What makes you think I would know about such a thing? Uh, you're a witch, aren't you? Oh my dear, I gave up witchcraft a long, long time ago. But a cure for vampirism. That's something I haven't thought about in quite some time. Very challenging and potentially dangerous. If you do a little something for me, I'll help you. How does that sound? Sounds good. I have my own interests, and they occasionally require resources that are difficult for me to acquire. Soul gems, for example. I have those. If you can bring me five empty grand soul gems, oh, I'm quite sure what? I can help you with this cure that you seek. I shall await your return. Where am I sp supposed to find those? Oh, you... Five empty good grand soul good gems. To see you again. Oh dear. Well, there's still time, is there not? Bring me the soul gems I've... You're not going to tell there's me where I, I can find them, are you? Well. So, so it begins. The uh, long, stupid grinding quest of trying to find stuff. I don't even know where I would begin looking for that. And yeah, I'm definitely not going to cheat. I'm not going to just... Some Someone did tell me how I could just spawn the potion to cure myself. And there's also a shorter quest in the DLC, I guess, that I could probably do. Um, I don't know which one that is. I think actually this is the quest that I would need to do. And you know, I have to find five Grand Soul Gems. I think that's the point where I'm like, okay, I'm out. Um, so I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I think it's the underground lair, because I thought the person said it was called the vile lair, and it's a DLC thing, so I should have it on me. Let, let, let's 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 go do this for for a moment and see exactly what uh, what this quest is. I've arrived in Deep Scorn Hollow. I should make my way inside the hidden lair. Where where is it? I guess I can still follow the arrow. Seems to be directly below me. Oh, is that... Oh, here we go. I open the door with the key. I've discovered a long forgotten journal within Deep Scorn Lair. I should read it to learn more about this unusual structure. Um, okay. After reading the journal, I've learned that I can acquire everything I need to restore this place to its original state uh, from a place just outside the Imperial City. Okay, so this is just like the castle and the spire. This is just another location. Um, Okay, so how do I get victim's loot? So where do I go in here to remove cloister? Okay, basin, I'm not even sure if this is the right location, wooden door. 
Oh, shoot, I didn't see what that one was. Okay, we're down deeper into some caves. Um, just gonna back up away from that. Okay. Still not seeing to the bay. Don't really, I think that's gonna be outside. Down here we have a dead end. I guess these would be locations that would get filled out if I bought things for this place. What's this? Not carrying any pur purge blood salts. What are those? Oh, purge blood crystal formations. I got one. What does this thing do? Here we go. Do you wish to cure your vampirism? Yes. Cured. Seriously, that's it? That's... Is it... It's gone. Just... I have tunnel cough. I should probably go get that cured in an alt, at an altar somewhere, but... Alright, yeah. Forget you and your... Giant quest of five grand soul stones and I don't even think that was the whole thing all right I'm never come back here this place is creepy um, let me get to the surface all right so that's 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 that is vampire vampirism secured and now before anything bad happens let me go to an altar and get rid of that other disease I don't think the tunnel cough was anything crazy but seeing as I'm got it on the mine I should cure it while I'm finishing up this video so yeah that's vampirism gone and if memory serves I don't think you can get vampirism again after you've cured it I think once it's gone you can't contract it again so what I should do next is I should go do um, oh I still have the vampire cure so I guess if I ever find five soul gems I can complete that quest and save the the counts wife I guess um, this one she wanted me to go destroy the vampires. Uh, this is the one that uh, Martin sent me to go get. He told me about this shrine. So yeah, I could go do that one now and clear out the vampires. Because the only reason I didn't do it the first time is because I didn't want to contract the vampire disease. Um, altar? Yay! Does that mean that disease is gone? No. Main one, I guess? Yay, afflictions banished. Yeah, okay, it's gone. Um, goodbye to diseases. Okay, so vampirism taken care of. Um, the easy way. Because I have DLC, so that was a DLC thing. So if you don't see that quest, it's because DLC stuff. Um, but I can always go do this vampire cure again later. But I think next time before we move on with the main storyline, I'm going to go do this one. Because I think this is a powerful artifact. I just didn't want to do it because of the fear of becoming a vampire. But that taken care of so let's go do do this next time and we'll go get this artifact um so yay vampire gone um so i guess this is totally signing out later guys